Granny Hen. I got it. Y'all, this day is even more beautiful than yesterday was. We're going to let the chickens out. How many eggs do you think we have? I'm, I'm going to say three, maybe three. Hello. Time for water. I thought there would be only three. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Me and the girls are going to have to have a little conversation because they want to lay their eggs over here where it's very difficult for me to reach them. Seriously thinking about putting another little door over there. And we need to push this back. We scooted the coop up whenever we had all that snow and rain and ice and stuff going on so that they weren't right up against the outside of the pen here. We had the tarp over the top, so. I didn't think I would need the basket. We've just been getting two, maybe three. We have six today. I bet it's because the weather's warmer. Makes them happy. Lay more eggs. You got the chicken feed? Almost forgot to put those chicken nuggets in the oven. All the other kids are still in there though, so they'll come and tell me when the timer starts beeping. I did set a timer. One more. just washed my iron skillet. I made some bacon in here this morning and I wanted to show y'all, I showed y'all this in a video a while back, this lodge scrubber right here. It's a chain mail scrubber. It cleans the iron skillet really good. Like if stuff is stuck on here really bad, I showed, I'll link that other video down below where I showed y'all. I mean, there was stuff stuck to it like crazy. I had made like a homemade hamburger helper thing. Anyway, this works really good, but I purposely this time left a little bit of stuff on here so I could show y'all another way if you don't, like if you can't find one of these at your Walmart, or if you'd just rather do it this way. Thank you. It's the last one, he brought me his socks. Every time we come in, he's ready to take his socks and shoes off. Yeah, you wanna see the piggy? Don't take the bottom out. Every time I let him see the piggy, he wants to push that up in there. Yeah, let mama see it, cause it'll break. Yeah, that piggy will break. So you just put a little bit of salt in here. Then you just take a clean, dry towel, rag, whatever. You just scrub around with the salt and it'll get up anything, you know, you can see in this area. So I'm just gonna take the towel, scrub with the salt there, and then boom, all clean there. There's still a little bit of something going on over here. That's it, now we'll just get the salt out and then you just oil it down. Now this isn't what we do when we season it. When we season it, then of course we'd stick it in the oven and all that. This is just, you know, cleaning, which is pretty much every day. We use it pretty much every day. It's a helicopter. They're trying to follow the helicopter now. Play horseshoes. You playing horseshoes? Yeah, it's gone go now. It's gone go now. few hours later now we ended up running to town real quick just got something to eat from Dairy Queen and I went into Ingles because I needed to get the stuff to make the treat for tonight for movie night I already gave mr. man a bath and then he had a snack so his face is 
<laughs> already needs to be cleaned up again. So this is what I got from Ingles. We needed popcorn. I still have to mop, so he's bringing me the mop over here. Thank you. This is the mop that I got from Lowe's the other night. I got this one because y'all know I have the O-Cedar Spin Mop. I love that mop, but I don't mop with it like the floor. The whole floor doesn't need to be mopped every single day. I mean, it could definitely happen, but sometimes you just need a quick mop, which is why I wanted to get this one. It's one of the spray ones. So the cleaner is inside here and the little mop thing that's on it right now is a reusable one. So you just wash it in the washing machine. I did get a box of the disposable ones too, but to me, they don't do as good as this reusable one. So you just squeeze the handle up here. It squirts out the cleaner and then you mop. I've been wanting to get one of these because every night, I mean, pretty much every night, the floor around the table needs to be mopped but I didn't want to have to fix a mop bucket. I mean, I could just put a little bit of water in there and that's what I've been doing is just doing, you know, just a spot mop or something. But so yeah, so far I really like it. But like I said, the disposable ones to me, I've tried one of those. They don't do as good as this one that you can wash. So here's what I got from Ingles. We needed some popcorn for movie night. They don't have the bucket kind there that we really like, but I mean, this is the same brand. So I got that. We got some Cheez-Its. Jonah asked if we could get some Cheez-Its. So I told him to grab a box and I didn't notice that he got extra toasty, but I'm sure they'll be fine. We got some brownie mix because we're gonna make some little brownie mousse parfaits tonight. So we're about to go ahead and get the brownies in the oven. I got this red velvet cake mix. This is gonna be for red velvet cinnamon rolls. I'm really excited about these. They seem pretty easy too and they're really pretty for like Valentine's Day because they're gonna look kind of a pinkish red color. And then you put the icing on top. Some butter, strawberries, and whipped topping. I've just been letting this sit out so it can start to thaw. These were on sale, two for six dollars. And if y'all remember, we got a box of these from Dollar General, I guess a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. They absolutely loved them. I tasted a little bite of one just to see if they were really that good because they kept saying how good they were and they are very, very good. They're really soft, of course, soft baked bar, and kind of chewy a little bit. They're really good. So we got two more boxes of the s'mores since Ingles had them on sale two for six, and we got a blueberry lemon one to try and the birthday cake one to try. So that's it, I'm gonna put this stuff up real quick and then we're gonna go ahead and get the brownies in the oven. I already have it preheating to 350. All right, we're just gonna make the brownies like normal. The kids are wanting to watch one of the Toy Story movies tonight. Manly's loving Buzz Lightyear right now, so they know he'll like that one. <laughs> So the directions say to mix in three cups of cold milk per box. We only want to put half of the milk that we need so that the pudding is really, really thick. So we're going to go ahead and put three cups because we have two boxes in here. So if you were only making one box, you would only put a cup and a half of milk. There you go. Okay, so we got that mixed up. Now we're putting in the whole container of thaw whipped topping. And I'm gonna use the hand mixer to mix all this up. Okay y'all, it is time to assemble. First we put in some of the pudding and whipped cream mixture. Then we take some brownie you can also do this with Oreo cookies instead of brownie. I just thought brownie would be really good. So we're just gonna break it up into small pieces, drop it down in there. Now more pudding and more brownie. If you're gonna make these ahead of time, stop there and just refrigerate them like that. But whenever you're ready to serve them, just take some whipped topping, put it on the top. And then put your sprinkles, yes. Here you go, sissy. 